All right, starting off today strong, we have uh, Derek from 2750T. My teacher said no motors are allowed yet, so here's my concept, and they have made um, one side of an intake. And everyone here has called it the tickle mech. <laughs> it's not able to get the ball out very effectively. So, we'll be, <laughs> we'll be crowning this the tickle mech, and the tickle mech's getting F tier, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully they can do much better with an intake or with a with a motor with the CAD Interesting interesting motor, motor layout. I haven't seen this in a while and also interesting use of your C channel Most teams just use a, a four wide or four long mm. And also um, I like how the the wheels are, are stanced up so then the sorry, down so then the the, the chassis is up uh, I'm gonna give it a, a B tier. Sorry. Oh yeah, cool. I think a uh, ten tongue made the the news in CBC. Very cool. The uh, work in progress hoarding bot seven eight point seven pounds with no electronics or pneumatics. Okay. Are they using the Are they using the the was it six six seventy five uh, weight calculator? Maybe they are. It's nice, interesting bot. Very simple. Very simple change up style design with the the horde backpack in the back. I'm guessing, yeah. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a B tier. You know, it's, it's coming along. Where the drive, I don't know where to use the plastic. So just wasting it so or so far, right? Nice. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can totally see where that plastic is going. It's going on the just some supports, some plastic supports for the front. Pretty clean, and no, I'm gonna give it the trim. It's a pretty nice drive. Four motor drive so far, and I was still trying to find the spots for the six motor six motors. No, probably couldn't go like here and here, um, which is a very fair fair spot for it to go. I don't know. Wonder if you can make it. Uh, you definitely can't make it vertical. Yeah, no, pretty very standard drivetrain configuration. That's people have been loved. Uh, that's been loved by the Vex community for years and years. Eight tier. Uh, some pics of our robot in three days. This is, I think, system overclocked robot in three days. Very nice. Mm. Two sided intake. If I'm not wrong, you have the the one side here with the this is like you know the the vertical wheels and then you have the horizontal one, which is the uh, this side where it has a you know a sprocket uh, for it's horizontal or it's vertical sorry no, horizontal i'm actually uh, i'm like messing up today horizontal much wider much wider intake and looks very nice looks super compact and very well built but i can if you tell me this is a mid-season bot i would not be surprised right so um but i wonder what this part is for this is for alignment i have not seen oh i think yeah, well, i'm pretty sure it's probably for probably for alignment and then they have this uh, kind of like a hopper on the on, on the back. It kind of reminds me of a paintball gun. I'm not gonna lie. The the big hopper right here, or maybe some like maybe a, maybe a, a baseball throwing machine. It's a baseball launching machine. It's definitely in an S tier. It's a it's pretty pretty nice. And and yeah, if you want to see the full robot in practice, definitely go check out their their actual video for this. But this. It is a Vex U team, so they're using a lot of 3D printed parts, and you know, more or so. Uh, you can probably still build this in Vex high uh, Vex VRC though, but no, just a heads up. It is a lot, a lot of custom parts. Vex up my robot in two different perspectives, and I highlighted the chain to be green, and also I use pink chain. To, or pink to know it's chain, okay. Very thin, a very standard. I think we saw this one before. It's kind of a hero bot design, and um, yeah, there's no tilting ability though on this one, which is interesting. But I think there probably would be. I, I assume may, maybe there is because this looks like it's a shaft collar, so maybe they're just piston mounted this way. And it's not just directly shifting the the joint on this and the whole intake, and it's shifting it 
via, uh, via this C channel, which is kind of weird, but you know, pretty cool, pretty interesting conveyor, very standard. I'm gonna give it a, a B tier, very standard. Updated bot, all right. Another very standard bot. This time, I like how he's put the poly on the on the front here for the the ball drop down or whatever the 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 mash load grabber mech. But I do think it can snap very easily. I would not recommend using that up there. Um, it's cool though. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a B tier still. Two speed non neutral. 420 to 4 or sorry 240 to 420 slash 450 not sure transmission gearbox wheels we added on soon eight wheel drive or six wheel drive unemployment on another uh, another level protobot this is an unemployment on another this is not unemployment on another level i can't speak this is like 402 b's uh <laughs> it's tipping point bot if you guys are in vex and are new to Vex and don't know who that is, make sure to check out 402B and their tipping point robot explanation. It will it will give you loads of building ideas and just you know make you much a much better builder. Think of seen that video at least 20 times, if not more. And it's just truly a master class of building and I think it's probably the best robot that has ever come across in Vex. That's ever come across Vex. But yeah this is this is very cool though. I like the the transmission i don't think you're going to need it this season but definitely not but it's it's very cool i'm gonna give it an s tier i like i like cool things so no intake tensioner all right pretty clean tensioner kind of wraps into the just goes into um their side of their this is a part of their chassis i'm guessing this through where it is and it just notes and goes through standoffs, right? It's not a not an active one. It's very passive, sitting here. All right, cool. I'm gonna give it an A tier. Drawing for the idea. All right, so this is the inspiration from four eight eight six S. I think the Spring Theories robot, and it's pretty pretty simple. Once again, it comes in through here, and then it can just go out or go up and either out the uh, low low the low one the low exit for the medium goal or through the top exit for the high goal and then or it can go through here and of course it can come back out i think interesting i'm gonna give it an a tier i've got the back of the intake and also took suggestions to switch the back to three wide mm -hmm. yeah looks nice looks nice i think you're still using um, these C channels, just I think we just switch these to one by ones, uh, should be good, I think, because you have you have these two standoffs which I really like because these help square and like really center the the C channels, right? Um, there's no way it's it can really be off centered, and if you're really scared of that, you can move these even further apart, and that really helps squares it even more. So if you want to use use one by ones, I think you should be fine because you're only using one mounting hole anyways. So why not just you make it lighter by using one by ones, right? I'm gonna give it a, uh, a B tier. Really scuffed because I don't have any parts right now, but the idea is here. Let's see. Bam. All right. Pretty cool. Yeah. This is uh, this is pretty nice. Oh, I like how you wait. You 3D print that? That's pretty nice. I like that. All right. Yeah. Definitely, definitely there. I think uh, once the the product is done once you have the, the actual supplies this should be really good how does his intake work hmm okay okay i think he's using like the the rubber rollers that comes off the the wheels that's nice i'm gonna give it an a tier good work good work please give feedback i'm new to v5 okay it's all right um i think I think I would put the sensor on the outside though, because then you maximize, you can minim, you can like really squeeze your mounting. Like, I, I don't know if this makes sense, but if you put your in, uh, sensor on the outside, then this part becomes more uh, like low profile and you can mount it into tighter spaces. So that's about it. It's nice. Any tips for recommendations? Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think you can move this out a little bit, and you can just not run 
like what we saw in that one video, I thought it was pretty good, where they ran no shaft and they just ran screw joints for the very front layer and it worked really well. I think I want more people to experiment with, with that. I'm gonna give this one a B tier. All right, this is probably the last one for day. Dog water. I can't see what's going on here, unfortunately. It looks like a a spin up bot. I'm not gonna lie. This makes me think of spin up snail bot or not. Uh, yeah, no spin up corn bot. Come, comes around and here's the the whole, the flywheel. Bam. But uh, it's not. So I really can't tell what's going on here. I think this is a one exit and this is the back exit. So. Uh, hopefully you send in a, a better pick. I'm going to give it a B tier for now.